Hi, in this video, we are going to introduce Python programming language. We are going to talk about its features and applications built using Python. Python was first released in 1991. So it is a language which is older than Java. Java was first released in 1995. But Python was not very popular in its early years. Python became really, really popular in the 20s. In the recent years, Python has been consistently one of the top programming languages. According to GitHub, which is the largest community of software developers, in 2020, Python has been the second most used language after JavaScript. Let us now talk about reasons for Python's popularity. The first reason and the main reason is Python has very simple syntax. It's very easy for anybody to learn Python programming and start becoming a programmer. For example, if you talk about the first program that you write in any programming language, it's a lengthy program in Java, it's slightly lengthy in C and C++ also. In Python, it's only one line. You simply need to write print hello and this will print hello on the screen. For any programming language, having simple syntax is the most desirable feature. And Python is the best fit in this. Because as a programmer, you don't want to spend much time learning programming. You want to spend more time in building the logic and implementing the software. Python is simple yet very powerful language. It's a general purpose programming language. You can build almost any kind of application in Python. You can build console applications and scripts using Python. Simple scripts that do some automations in your software. You can build desktop applications. You can do web applications in Python. There is this popular Django framework, which is a Python framework that allows you to quickly do web development. It's one of the most used framework these days. You can do game development with Python and you can do almost anything that you hear. Machine learning, deep learning, AI, big data, IoT, all these kind of applications can be built in Python. Python has rich library for almost everything. The next good thing about Python is it supports multi-paradigm style of implementations. You can design softwares like you design in C where you have a function that calls other functions and they call other functions and you get your things done. Or you can design in object oriented programming way like you design in Java where you have multiple classes and objects of these classes and these objects interact with each other. You can also design softwares in functional programming style like you design in Lisp where you apply a set of functions on a data. The next great thing is Python programs are portable or platform independent. This is similar to Java. In Java, when we run a program, we first compile it into an intermediate code and then this intermediate code can be executed on any machine. Similar thing happens typically with Python also. The programs are first compiled into a machine independent intermediate code. Then this intermediate code is executed by the interpreter and you can run a Python program on any machine because of this two-way step. The next feature is Python is dynamically typed and this is different from C++ and Java. C++ and Java are statically typed languages. What it means is in C++ and Java, if you are creating a variable, then you must specify the type of values that this variable is going to hold. For example, here I have a variable x and I'm storing an integer. So in Python, I don't have to tell whether this x is going to store an integer value or float value. As a programmer, I can simply write x equal to 10. And here another variable y, which holds a string value. I don't have to specify that this is a string variable. And a variable which was earlier holding an integer value can now later hold a string value. This is also allowed in Python. We are going to discuss Python variables and their syntaxes in detail in a separate track. Dynamically typed languages have their own advantages and disadvantages. Like Python, there are more languages which are dynamically typed. For example, PHP is also dynamically typed. In dynamically typed languages, the type is assigned at the runtime when your program is running. In statically typed languages like C++ and Java, it is assigned at the compile time. So there are more chances of runtime errors in dynamically typed languages. Also, dynamically typed languages are typically slower. And that's the fact with Python. Python is in fact slower than Java and C++. The next feature of Python programming language is automatic garbage collection. And this is similar to Java and different from C++. 
and this makes programmers life really easier both java and python have automatic garbage collection now what does automatic garbage collection mean as a programmer when you dynamically allocate memory you don't have to worry about releasing this memory in c++ you have to worry about it otherwise there would be problems but in java and python it's automatically taken care of we have talked about some important features of python programming language here is a list of some popular applications which are built using python youtube dropbox reddit quora instagram mozilla firefox netflix all of these applications extensively use python and many of them are purely built in python in fact netflix released a story in 2019 that how extensively they use python and how much python has helped them in running their business we at geeks for geeks also use python extensively we had our earlier applications written in php and we recently moved lots of them to python so python is world's fastest growing programming language it has rich libraries and it's already in use in many popular applications